welcome to tutorial number five this time I'm gonna show you how you can make your own textures and how you can use custom textures for your map first you're gonna download the software you need to open and view what files and combine them stuff like that you're gonna go to this site again I'm gonna link it to the description go to texture tools and download valley uh, 1.55 from the bottom download that extract this you can pretty much put it where you want I'm gonna use the hammer main folder again like that no need to install it will it can be run or from the extraction so go and open that now in this program you can do a lot of shit I don't know I don't even know what all of these things do, I just use this to view what files and combine them and make new what files, so go to file, open select anything you want, uh, your what files are usually in your counter strike folder I copied all of them into my ha valve hammer folder too just open anything you want really like this you will see what textures the what file has really useful for checking these before you actually start using the uh, textures now if you have s too many wat files for example you want to combine them because hammer will only accept seven or eight i don't know what the exact number is so you can you only use seven or eight wat files so you will need to combine wats at some point so if you want to need to combine you go to wizard watch wat merge got quick add take something from here you can take basically um, as many as you want at some point when the watt files get too big I think it will crash hammer so uh, try to keep the watt files uh, as small as you can only take what you need really like that you're gonna select this create a new watt uh, I'm gonna shit ignore if it detects any duplicate images it is gonna ignore them so then you click go it will do its work now I have the two what files open in the same window here then you can go save as half light what package then you can save it as anything you want I'm not gonna save it now because I won't be needing this but yeah really useful tool for viewing viewing uh, what files and making them but now I'm gonna show you how you can actually make your own textures y you can just google any image you want really depending on what you need now I know you should check if there are some copyright stuff on the picture but I, I know none of you will so I'm not gonna concentrate on that now I already downloaded two images to speed this up a little bit download at this brick wall texture and some ground texture so at this point uh, you're gonna need some sort of photo editing software uh, I don't know if you can do do this in paint too but I'm gonna use paint.net really useful program for a lot of simple stuff and some advanced things too so I'm gonna use this open the images you have downloaded or the image now the textures you're gonna use have to be in bitmap uh, format and they have to be some exact dimensions they can't be any any size you want so I wrote the dimensions up in here to help a little now these are the dimensions you will have to use you can't use any anything else or they will crash hammer or give some errors while compiling or stuff like that so 16 by 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 and 512 now you can also combine these like 64 by 128 or 128 by 32 as long as you keep using these you can make the texture the size you need it to be uh, depending where it will go if you wanna uh, write a text for example on a single row you might not need something like this you can make it uh, very wide but not so high for example like that 128 by 32 would might be good for a text 
some text text in your map so we will need to resize this because the actual size of this is huge right now nothing like the dimensions I just showed you I'm gonna need to resize resize this go to image resize now because this is a wall texture it will need to be kind of big so that you don't have to scale it up too much so I'm gonna use file 12 by file 12 on this it will resize it uh, the quality st still seems pretty good so I, I can use this I'm gonna go to file save as select the BMB bitmap image format here now you should use some uh, names for your texture which will make them easy to find in Valhammer so maybe something like your nick uh, or, or something you will remember easily now that length of the texture can't be too long I don't remember what the exact limit was but try to keep them as short as possible I'm gonna use something like this now CMY brick wall I'm gonna save that then I'm gonna open the ground texture now this is wrong size also this wouldn't work, work in hammer as it is also it's the wrong format these were JPEGs gonna go to image resize now because this is ground I can use the biggest size again then I'm gonna go to save as bitmap image CMY ground maybe okay now you have your PMP file set up you can go open valley again go to file new you're gonna select half-life package from here go to OK then you can I don't, I'm not actually sure can you just drag your images I guess you can but I'm not really sure is this crashing or what the fuck well that took took a while but it did it anyway so here they are my textures I, that I just made then you're gonna go to file save as half-life package dot what gonna save this as cmy tutorial maybe save that you can close then you're gonna open hammer tools options textures add that file now you ha should have the saved thing here CMY tutorial click on use now when you add the textures I don't know if it did we did this in the first tutorials it will might ask you to restart hammer before it will work it didn't ask it for me now I'm gonna open the tutorial map again so I don't have to make a new one then just select a wall here browse my name I named them C and Y so they're easy to find now with the filter here. Brick wall apply. It's huge because the scale is still like that. I'm gonna try one and one and as you can see here you have your brick walls. Now the problem with this uh texture is that it isn't seamless which will make it look like this, not really good that's why you should always try to find some seamless textures to make them look better this won't look good now because it's not seamless I will have to <laughs> leave it like that then I'm gonna select the ground texture, put it here apply and like that, you can add mate or make any kind of textures you want really just make sure you are finding seamless images not something like this because you can't really fix this anyway now I'm not gonna compile this map because you can see here what they will look like so no use in compiling now I'm gonna show you one more thing about different textures now those basic textures I just show you are not the only ones you can do here as you can see you can do uh, water textures, you can do ladder textures, anything you want but there are some tricks to these now all ladder texture for example 
if you want them to look good you should always make sure there is this blue sorry for all the small breaks so yeah you should always make sure there is this blue texture in the background you can add this in the photo editing softwares then you, if you when you change the render mode in hammer it, the, the blue will disappear and it will leave the other parts now if you want to make uh, textures like this with uh, transparent parts you will need to add these brackets to the front if you click on a texture here and go to rename you can actually see what all of these mean so th these are the characters you will need to add in front depending on what you're doing if you're just making some normal texture uh, you won't have to add anything like I have made the, all of these here you don't need to add anything in front but if you're making water texture you need to have the exclamation mark and if you're making transparent textures with some blue parts you will need to add the brackets there also if you're making decals I think you will need to add this but personally I haven't made any of these textures yet so I can't really <laughs> tell everything about them but I think that was all you need to know for now in the next tutorial we'll be going over optimization or something like that I'm not even sure yet but yeah I hope this was helpful and see you on the next one